Hello, welcome to Handmade by Julie Quinn and my Facebook Live this week. I have a card I'm sharing with you with some fun techniques, but it's using a stamp set that's no, not yet available. It will be coming in the new catalogue, which comes in September, and it's called Translucent Florals. If you do um, keep an eye on online, you may have seen it. We had an event just recently as Stampin' Up! demonstrators were able to go to and were able to get this stamp set early. So it has beautiful uh, distinctive images with several tones in and it also comes with a coordinating set of dies, the translucent floral dies. And it has several dies that coordinate with the stamped images, so the flowers and the leaves have these outline stamps and also this little one here as the outline for this little leafery here but these solid ones here create flowers and I wanted to have a play with them and see how they worked so um, I'm just having a look to see if you can if I can see make sure that everything's um, good for you to see okay so yeah so these ones i wanted to have a play with now this particular card we're doing some fun ideas to create 3d flowers but you could also create the same sort of things with the oh sorry paper florist dies so these ones here that are in our annual catalog the paper florist dies has some lovely petals and floral images so you could use the same techniques on that one this particular die set has the full flower petals though so that's what i'm going to play with first all right let me just bring in my bits and pieces here i have done some preparation for my card i'm using for my inks granny apple green and also daffodil delight <coughs> But my cardstock is actually, for the flowers and the leaves, I'm using Lemon Lolly. So there's my flower petals already die cut with the Lemon Lolly cardstock. And Lemon Lime Twist for my leaves. Okay, so there's all my die cuts. The centres of the flowers is some crushed curry, some little pieces of crushed curry there. So I'm just trying to sort out all my bits and bobs here so that you can so we can get that all sorted i like to get myself sorted out when i'm card making with all my bits all together i also have some lemon lime twist ribbon this ribbon actually comes in a duo with a, um a, i think it's coastal cabana ribbon in the zany zoo crew sweet so that's where that lovely it's got a beautiful stitched detail on it if you have a look there's uh, one two three layers of stitching i think and the lovely lemon lime twist sorry i've put that up a bit close and it can't focus so there you go there's the lemon lime twist ribbon all right and then i'm also using my favorites iridescent rhinestones because these these guys go with everything okay so i'll put them aside this is for my greeting and it's one of the nested essentials dies. I should have probably got them out to show you, but it, this is the smallest flag one. And then as I said, I'm using Daffodil Delight and Granny Apple Green. So let's start putting the card together. That way I can get some of the things out of the way. Oh, hang on, I just gotta reach. I had my glue. Over, over on the side and I didn't bring it back. I apologise for that. So first of all, some Daffodil Delight layered up with the Granny Apple Green. These are both in the Brights collection. So go quite nicely together, have similar sorts of undertones. So they work very nicely together. I find I'm not a very confident person with colour. So I do like to use colour ch challenges where people have done the thinking for me. Or if I have to do it myself, if I use colours that are all the same, for example, in a monochrome, so a whole bunch of all of the same, of yellow, for example, or blue, 
or use colours out of the same colour family. So these two here are in the Brights colour family. And I'm not typically a Brights person. I, I prefer more um, probably neutral or subtle colours for me, just because of my lack of confidence with colour. But when I'm not feeling confident, I like to use a lot of white. That helps me as well. Okay, so I have done a little bit of stamping already for the front panel. I've stamped this little leaf with the granny apple green a couple of times randomly about where I think the flower will be. And then I've run that through the embossing folder and the Stampin' Cut and Die Machine with that lovely crosshatch. This is one of the Basics 3D folders. So I've stamped first and then run it through the embossing folder just to create that extra texture. So that is ready to go onto the front of my card. I'll pop that there. All right. This one is for the inside of my card. And how about we do the stamping for that before we do anything else? I'll just bring in my piercing mat. Um, to, to help me make sure I get my stamping in the right place. And I'm going to use this little flower and the stem and do a couple of Daffodil Delight flowers. I've run out of space. There we go. Daffodil Delight flowers oh. in the bottom corner here. One there and one there. Here we go. There's my two flowers. This is just because it's nice to have um, something pretty on the inside of your card when you're doing a card. And then some leaves as well. Now I've just inked up my Granny Apple Green ink pad. So I might have to just move the ink around a little bit here. So I'll put some leaves there. So you can see they're a little bit darker than the ones I had in the front. Some leaves there, and then my stem. So, one there, and turn this one over. One there. There we go. So, there's my little flowers for inside my card, all done. But while I've got that open, I'll also stamp onto my greeting, and that way, all the stamping's done. Wishing you all the happiness in the world. I can put that one away and get my block for this one. Wishing you all the happiness in the world. And line that up. Oh, a little bit crooked. If you wanted to avoid that, the thing you could do is stamp first and then use your die and die cut around it. Okay, so that's done and that's done. Now what I want to do is add some colour to my flowers and leaves. And I'm going to use Daffodil Delight on my Lemon Lolly cardstock and a blending brush and just add a bit onto the base of each of the petals. I wonder if it would be quicker to do it holding it in my hand. go and so you can use your color your blending brush this way as well it gives it a bit more intense color probably there we are and then this one and this will help build up a lovely 3d they'd look nothing before they're put together but then when you put them all together so just adding some colour adds extra depth to the die cuts. And in fact, if I put that inside the, the bristles of my blending brush, that also gives you a, a really nice edge there. There we go. And any more? One more. There's the last one of my lemon lolly. I will do... This one over here again, because I think I originally 
put the ink on the wrong side. You can tell when you die cut, there's sort of a beveled edge on the top, which really um, gives it a lovely finish. So that's my petals. And then my leaves with some granny apple green on the lemon lime twist. And my granny apple green brush. Could have done some of this beforehand sorry um hopefully there we go a little bit on that side and that side these ones are going to be sort of folded in half this way when we go to put them on our card Okay, so that's all my inking of the bits and pieces for my flowers. Now the next thing I'm going to do, and this can is a bit tricky, I'll just swoosh them all off there. It is tricky because uh, if you're too rough, it will rip the petal right off. So I'm holding it very firmly here, but then with my bone folder, curling each of the petals so that when I put it together see how when you put it down on the on the bench there it has it certainly has a lot more dimension and um, and shape and form okay so now I've possibly got more flowers here than I need I just kept die cutting out my cards till I used it all up so that I didn't waste any Okay, there's a bit like peeling the potatoes, you know, with the old bone folder. It does a really, really good job. It's a lovely way to give. Another way you can is to um, also, I'll show you that as well, if I um, use my, I usually use my take your pick tool, which once again, I haven't got here on my table because I've been working elsewhere. Okay. I'll show you something else you can do. when you, With your piercing mat, here's something else you can do to give extra form to flowers. Is with your piercing mat, and I usually use a take your pick tool. Actually, I'll have to go and get it. Hang on. I use the lid on the putty end because it has a nice blunt end and you can push that in to your piercing mat and it actually gives the flower a bit of a lift okay can you see how that gives it a lot more shape and I've done that with um, punched flowers with the petal part punch as well really helps give it a bit more lift so when we're sticking these together, I'm going to be sticking, layering them all just on that bit where I've pushed into it with the lid of the um, take pick tool. Okay, so, right. Now, let's start putting it together here on our card. So I'm going to use my favourite mini glue dots and push the flower onto the mini glue dot and lift it off. And then layer it onto my flower and then what have I got another one of these little ones push it onto the mini glue dot and pop it onto my flower and just build up the layers that way okay where's my mini glue dots gone here they are one there push it onto the um, offset the petals a bit Push it onto the flower, mini glue dot. Whoops, there we are, I've got it. And put that over there. And I think I'll do one more on that one because I've only got one large one there. And there we go. And then 
the large starry looking crushed curry die cut first and then the second one the little one second I love mini glue dots for this so much quicker and easier than using any other sorts of glue oh, this one and pop you there and last of all here okay so that's our flowers done and I'm going to use a dimension on the back of both of those one there and one there and put you here and you over here overlapping a little bit and then with my leaves just fold them up a little bit and then use mini glue dots also on them and tuck them up underneath and stick them around so give it a bit of a fold mini glue dot at the base tuck it in there and fold mini glue dot at the base and I'm using on the actual leaf there's one end is pointy and the other end has a little rounded tip so I'm using the rounded tip for the bit that I'm sticking underneath the flowers there we go another one here so it does use a few mini glue dots to create this but it's so worth it because it looks really beautiful when it's done last one There we go. And one up here. So it's basically flower arranging with paper. All right, and then on the back of my greeting, some glue and my lemon lime twist ribbon, which I'm going to fold into thirds. Okay, fold it into thirds and put it, there we go and dimensionals over the top to anchor it in place. There we go. And when you put it into thirds, it looks like it's been tied into a bow, but you don't actually have to tie it into the bow. See, doesn't that look cute? There you go, wishing you all the happiness you can deserve in the world. Glue my piece in for the inside of my card. And I'm all done. Oh, no, no, I'm not. I need to have sparkle. So I'm just adding scattering rhinestones around the image, not actually on the, you could put them in the centers of the flowers if you like, but I'm just scattering them around, around the outside edges. And one there, there we go. So, and I've got one extra little one. What would that look like if I put that up here? Oh, I think I will do that. And so I'll grab my mini glue dots again. Stick that onto the mini glue dot. Pull that off and stick that there. So that way I'm camouflaging the fact that it's slightly crooked. Do you think it worked? What do you reckon? <laughs> I added a lot more ink to this one than this one, didn't I? It does look beautiful in the darker colours. So what do you reckon? Is that a good camouflage for um, trying to hide the fact that I stamped it crookedly? I hope you enjoyed that and I hope you'll have a go making some 3D flowers. So as it turns out, they are. it is probably a card that you would give in person to somebody um, because they are a little bit chunky to post but you probably could if you squished them down a bit more thank you so much for joining me i really hope you enjoyed it and bye bye now see you next time